So, good afternoon, boys and girls. I would like to ask you a few questions now that we have uh, gone through um, our re-engagement lesson with the DVD plans. And one of the first questions I'd like to ask all of you um, is, what is your experience with tables? What have you done with tables in the past? I've always added up everything together and then see what the total amount is. Okay. Anyone else want to add in? Uh, you can use tables to organize things. Okay. And compare. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Okay. okay. Um, another question I have regarding tables is, how much have you done in the past with comparing information within tables? Well, I remember starting in third grade, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, we've done it every single year since then. Okay. What, what were some of the key learnings that you had today? Uh, how to compare the all the... Uh, prices with the table. Okay. Danielle? Understanding like what the difficulties are and like, what mistakes you can make. Okay. Someone else want to add in? Charles? Oh well, yeah. Like the mistakes, it, it helps us see if somebody made mistakes so we could correct it. So that's, yeah. Okay. It's showing us the prices and a lot of stuff. Because if someone made the same mistake, um, they would learn uh, how to fix it. Okay. Was there any point during the lesson today that you um, experienced confusion? And um, if you did, I'd like to, for you to state what that confusion is and what you did to kind of get yourself out of that place of confusion. Uh, I got confused with, I think, the last one we did. And it was because of, with the 12 and the 25, because I wasn't sure, like, because the plan wasn't fixed, so I wasn't sure if they were trying to do 12, 24, so 12, 13, plus 13, I wasn't sure which way they wanted it. Okay. So what did you do to help yourself with that confusion? I guess I kind of waited for somebody else to answer it. Okay. <laughs> Someone else want to add in? I got confused, too, on the same thing he did. Okay. And I thought you just always added 13 to everything, and I thought the problem was correct. You just had to take away the zeros. But it, it 13 remains the same, and you just add the DVD. With table A, with student A's table, we saw um, zero. And I would like to know what your thoughts are about zero. Um, I think zero is important to include in the table because it shows that even when you don't rent any DVDs, you still have to pay a certain amount okay. or nothing, yeah, depending on which plan. Yeah, I agree with that because... Somebody, that's probably how somebody got confused. They didn't look at it clearly. So if you know it's 12 per month or 18 per month, that'll help. With student H, we had labels missing. Um, when you looked at those three tables, did you assume that the labels that were on the first table were also in place for the second and third table? Yes. Okay, and when you made that assumption, then you looked at the numbers, then how did you read um, the, the last company where it was eight multiples of 18? How did you read that then? Um, well, I could help, I guess. What do you mean, what do you mean how did we see it? Yeah. Well, yeah, it looked like it was just 18 plus 18 plus 18 over and over again. So it wasn't following the plan because it's unlimited movies. So, yeah. But it didn't make mathematical sense. Okay. So talking about mathematical sense that you bring up right now, Kyle, um, do we see the difference between something making mathematical sense and it matching the plan? Yeah. Could we talk about that a little bit? Um, so sometimes it made mathematical sense even though it didn't match the plan. Um, probably because the student saw a different pattern, maybe. So when we're looking at that, um, it reminds me of things that we've done in the past with our warm-ups where we look at two different problems where one is correct and one is incorrect and we're still trying to figure out the logic behind that. Did this kind of feel like an, a lesson like that? Yes. Yeah, and I have a question. Yeah. You know, like the 12, the 12 one when it was 12 plus 13 plus 13, would that, be, would that make mathematical sense or no? Well, it, if you're, it's constantly, you're constantly adding on 13, so you're adding 13 starting at 12. So we're working with 
with Building 13. So yeah, there is oh. there is some sense there. And um, we, we talked about earlier that the 13 came from the $12 flat fee plus $1 for the additional rental. Was it helpful to you to make corrections to the tables? Yeah. Yes. And in what ways was that helpful to you? Because you get to understand what kind of problems, like if even if you think it's right and it's wrong, you understand like you could have made that mistake yourself too. Okay. And did, even though we didn't quite finish, um, did, did the lesson leave any questions for you right now? Are you still wondering something that you'd like to address? No, I think I understood it pretty well. Yeah, yeah I think it all makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.